Hey everyone, Lance here. I've got a friend with me here today. I'm John. And we're at his place because we wanted to test the difference between a Thunderbolt 2 eGPU and a Thunderbolt 3 eGPU with the 2017 MacBook Pro and see if there's actually a difference. So I have my Akitio Thunder 2 modified to use a desktop power supply and I'm running the ASUS Reference RX 488GB. Of course I'll be using a Thunderbolt 2 to Thunderbolt 3 adapter and John's going to tell you what he's got. So I've got the Akitio Node, uh, yeah Akitio Node, it's Thunderbolt 3, um, it's running a Sapphire RX 480 reference card. Um, I'm very interested to see if there is any difference between Thunderbolt 2 and Thunderbolt 3, so let's get into it. Cool, so for our testing, we're of course going to do all the testing on my MacBook to keep the numbers consistent. We're also going to disable and within energy saver preferences, automatic graphics switching just to make sure the integrated GPU isn't used at all. So we're going to be running tests in Valley Benchmark, in Cinebench, we're going to do the Brucex 5K test and we're also going to do a, a real world render test with Final Cut Pro. So let's get to it. Some interesting numbers there, John's card performed only slightly better than mine with the Cinebench and the Brucex 5K render test, while our valley numbers were basically identical. The only difference we really saw was within the real world final cut test where John's card performed quite a bit better than mine, whereas my card performed worse than the discrete GPU. So anything you wanted to add John? Yeah I feel like um, as it currently stands there's no real benefit to the, the difference is um, average at best. Um, so I think only time will tell once the Metal API is officially, you know, efficient baked into um, applications and we really get to see the, um, the hard work that Apple's put into it. But um, as it currently stands, I, I don't think there's any real um, added benefit between Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 2. I forgot to mention that I'm running the macOS High Sierra Developer Beta 7. So this is all plug and play performance. And just for anyone curious, we did try connecting both eGPUs at once, however only one was shown under graphics, but they were both shown under the Thunderbolt devices and in system information. And that's about all we wanted to talk about today guys. I do thank you all a lot for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram or Twitter. I'll post links down below. I'll also post links to all the benchmarks we ran today. And hey, let me know if you want to see John in more videos. Thanks guys, see you in the next one.